well. We just popped into Bora. You guys do wheel spacers. And one of the cool things is like, dude, they're just round parts with holes in them, but they do thousands and thousands and thousands of them. So like when you actually have a four wheel drive truck and you gotta get your tires out, they actually put a wheel spacer. Well, a lot of them, a huge percentage of them are built right here at Bora. My boy, man. So, how are you? <laughs> what's up, man? So this, these guys, Bora, they were a customer of yours for how many years? For 20 plus years almost. 20, yeah. And they make wheel spacers. Wheel spacers and adapters. But they're number but one in the industry. They just figured out how to make a simple part very efficiently so they can get their prices down so they can just basically American saturate manufacturing. the market and make money and take care of their families. It's amazing. And this guy literally started with two machines. He's now got 18 machines and stacks of POs. And then now they have a larger facility, so now they're branching out into other things. Correct, correct. Super good. They are just talking about now their fourth move in the last 20 years. So this building, which is 9,000 square feet, too small. Yeah. Time to go. <laughs> Gotta go, man. Gotta keep levels. Levels. Keep. It's about levels, That's baby. That's it. It's Lenny's going to the next one. I know. And then no matter what level you're on, own that level. Own it. Be the best at it. Kill it. And then the doors happen to open and you go to the next level. Now, when you look at material and stuff, when you look at the process, yes. you know, a lot of people, like, they're drilling. Like, they're drilling a ton of holes and ton stuff. A ton of holes. Yep. And a lot of times, you're pecking when you're drilling, yep. right? And you're making little pecks and stuff. Especially but in the thickness as, of the material, yeah. As you get better drills, yep. And they have great Lunge, chip babe. breakers. You have through the spindle coolant. Yep. All of a sudden, you can just get rid of pecking Lunge. and just go straight through. One Boom. time. And that's that's efficiency. That is time is money. And Barry Barry's holding the drill right here. He's yeah. Sentimental in the house. Boom. You know, a lot of guys will go down with a regular drill and go into a pocket and it'll actually have an angle. They'll come in with an end mill and clean it up. And yet these guys went to a can of metal flat bottom drill to just like pop down. Boom, boom, done. Super efficient. It's not a lot of tools. It's one tool and they deburr it and it's nice and clean. So every single machine in here, they've got the NQ Horizontals, the only one that does not have one of the AeroX Misfit 550s, but literally as they grew, they became an issue with getting missed in the shop. They literally put one on every machine after they saw how good the first one did. These things are ridiculous. They are four years in now, four years just now replacing the filters. Crazy, crazy. I like, I like how they got these little cells also. So you come over here, you got you got one operator over here and he's running two machines and he's, going, he's turning this machine on, you got the green light, he's changing parts over here, then he'll turn this machine on and then he's just like doing his thing right there. You come over here and then the same thing, you got this machine running and then you got this machine running. And then the guy who operates these two machines actually walks to another cell and starts making parts on those that cell. So it's just like nonstop, nonstop, nonstop production. Oh man, blows are cooling right there in the house, making it happen. And look, the machine's running and the machinist is actually getting coolant for the machine. So that's efficient. What's up, Taylor? How you, you doing, man? Doing great, thank Good. you. Good. I love the hustle and bustle of the entire crew over here. I see the different cells, like you got two machines facing each other. Machinists will run both of them, then walk to another one. So everybody seems like they're very efficient. Um, I actually I actually think it's super inspiring just for machinists out there because you guys are actually have a product that's not super difficult, but you guys have owned it. You've gotten so efficient that nobody else can really compete with you. And then you just, with the marketing, with everything, you guys just kind of like took over, especially in the US market. Absolutely. And that's what other machinists need to do. They, they, they want to have their own like machine shop or they have to figure out their niche, their part, market it, fall in love with it and go out and sell it and then get extremely good at it so nobody else can like beat them on the price, right? Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, so maybe doubt. talk a little bit about like your company, about how, how the structure is and what you guys make. So I've been with Motorsport Tech for about five years now, a little over five years. And yes, we make wheel spacers and adapters. On steroids. Every, on steroids, ah. exactly. So the company started about 30 years ago as a small mom and pop wheel and tire shop. Okay. And they had a couple of manual machines and they saw the need for, hey, person A has a five lug car and they've got six lug wheels. They spent three, four grand on these wheels. 
how do I get them on this car? I don't want to sell them, buy new ones. So he came up with a two piece adapter as well as one piece adapter saying if you have like a five lug bolt pattern, you need to go to a larger or smaller five lug bolt pattern. And we've expanded that now to where we don't just do cars, we'll do anything with wheels. We've done awesome. ATVs, UTVs, motorcycles, we've done tanks, armored vehicles, uh, the US government, but also for uh, private military contractors, everything, everything. in that space. Uh, what's the smallest diameter you guys do? So typically the smallest diameter raw stock will start with is six inch diameter okay. for the wheel spacers and adapters, but we also do custom made billet hub rings. A lot of guys will have aftermarket wheels and they make these wheels with a large center bore, nice. so it can work on any vehicle out there that's that bolt pattern. Awesome. The problem you get then is that the wheel is gonna vibrate, it's not gonna be centered, you're not gonna have that good factory ride. Right. So we'll actually machine hub rings if somebody doesn't want a spacer to center that up so they get that nice clean factory ride with their really nice trick aftermarket wheels. And then you guys like go all the way up to like 16 inch diameter. So what is Absolutely. that, more like the military or? Yeah, so the 16 inch diameter will be something for like a Hutchinson or an MRAP wheel. We actually just did uh, a set of 16 inch di diameter adapters for a guy in California who right. is putting um, Hutchinson MRAP wheels onto an H1 Hummer. And so you'll see that soon. And he's also planning on doing some of those with a fire truck as well, which is gonna be really, really cool. That's and awesome. that's something that we as a brand really support are custom one-off small builders doing projects that nobody else has ever seen or done before. And we'll work with them and we're a fully customizable shop, right? We'll take something, an idea that you have that you don't even have a print or anything for on paper. We'll design it, we'll model it. We'll take your idea from start to finish so that you can have that really cool one-off custom vehicle that nobody else has. I love I love how like everything just getting sawed up right now and uh taylor yes sir. i'm gonna just like spin that spin this around because i want people to see like this is like it's just like every single size material and you probably go through most of this like in a, in a single day oh absolutely uh, the saw is constantly cutting we actually used to have a sign on here abc always be cutting oh i love that super good e each machine cell can go through about an entire 12 foot bar of material every single day so if that saw isn't running these machines aren't running we're not making the product that everybody wants and needs good man he's so good so how many parts how many spacers are you machining per day at least 350 to 400 every single day, sometimes more. If we're doing a large production run for one of our large distributors, say custom offsets, we could be running until one, two in the morning, burning right. through 900 or so parts. Heck yeah. And then per year, how many are you shipping? I'd say probably around 20,000 complete kits a year, probably around 100,000 spacers, close to that every single nice. year. A lot of aluminum. A lot of aluminum. And you recycle yes, everything. We do, absolutely, yeah. Super good, awesome. So these guys come in with a dream of making their own parts. They get a machine that's affordable and they start making parts right here in America. And, and it is so incredible. Manufacturing is increasing. We're making it, helping to make it famous. And yeah, part after part after part, just making it happen. Boom. Oh man, what's oh, up, man. Pete? What's up, my man? Dude, How are you, crazy. Buddy? Taylor and the team over there. Absolute. What a great shot. Found their niche. Found their niche. Making crazy parts, making like a million of them. Oh, dude, they do so nonstop good. all day long. Awesome, all day long. Awesome. And Stacks. That, and I just want to say that's exactly why we have the styles. Yeah. It is because it is a crazy machine at an affordable price and guys can like figure out how to make something. They can 100%. find their niche. They can start their own companies with an affordable machine and like Dude, it's happening every single day. Literally, I had a demo this morning. Guys in here buying brands X, Y, or Zs. Like Not to be like that, but you got one right here. Yeah, I like, do. He's what's up, Cooper? Hey, what's up? 19 <laughs> years old. What's the what's the company name? UAM Systems. Oh, in Nebraska. From Nebraska. So hey, good. Now. 19 years old looking at a CNC machine. Crazy. God bless him. See, man, you're on camera, bro. <laughs> so good. But, but it I is, mean, it's crazy. XYZ could be eighty, ninety thousand dollar entry right here. You're half that, and you are getting everything. And it's rock solid. You can go to the community. You can talk to these guys. Amazing machine for the price. It's incredible. We're delivering them the all over the world. Siemens now. Siemens, Siemens control. control is coming out. The yeah. Siemens C numeric eight twenty eight from August 1st on is delivering with every style. Oh. That's what they did to standardize the, the, the machine is go with and, Siemens. And then the money goes to funding free education for that the world. We one. have 450,000 students online. We don't charge anybody anything. We, we have great partnerships and we're earning the money to lift up the students yeah, by actually distributing CNC machines. Absolutely. So the money goes towards that. 
Everyone knows it. Ask any teacher if we've ever asked them for anything and they'll tell you no. Zero. Boom. Love this trade. Love, love this country. Love, love, love all countries. All of it. Boom. We're out. Let's go.